Hi everyone, my name is Yukari and I will be making daily process videos um, for the, the month of July as I sketch in my Hobonichi Techo for World Watercolor Month. So let's get started. So it is day three of World Watercolor Month and today the prompt is Ding Tea. Um, and so I was thinking of doing dainty flowers and the first image really that popped into my mind um, are blossoms from my lemon tree that I have um, in Arizona. So that is what I'll be painting today. All right, so here are my supplies for today. It's it's basically the, the same, but I have my um, my notebook and um, here are the colors that I'm using, um, but then I, I actually do have um, the thing that you just saw is called shtajiki, and um, it is to prevent the, the writing that you do on a paper to, to make indentations on the other side. And for Tomoe River paper, because it's so thin, um, it does usually make a, a, a big dent and some people like that um, and, and I don't mind it, but it does create um, divots for paint uh, the next day. Um, so I use a shtajiki. All right, so one of the colors that I'm using is this cascade green, which is this beautiful green that separates into blues and browns. It's made of phthalo blue and um, I think it's burnt sienna. It's one of the browns. And so you see as, as, um, as it, 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 it dries, it separates into these beautiful shades and, and I'm just gonna keep it around so you can see at the end um, what it does. Um, all right, so the colors that I'm using, sorry about that, this is Hansa Yellow. And I'm also using Quinn Gold um, to warm up my lemon. And um, I have Ultramarine Blue and then also this Cascade Green. So as I discussed, I am um, doing lemon blossoms, but I thought that, that I would include lemons and make it sort of a half wreath. Um, and so I am sketching my lemons first. And, um, and so I created this, this arc and, you know, adding leaves and uh, uh, different leaves. And I decided to add some blueberries. Uh, I thought the blue and yellow would really look nice together. Um, so I'm sketching and I'm making circle um, shapes for my blossoms. And I am going to be um, just sketching here, another blossom here and another leaf and, and so forth. And there may be other things that I'm going to be adding, um, but these are going to be the basic shapes that I will be painting. And now that I have uh, my sketch done, I am going to be actually using my pen today to outline. And so I'm using the same Jetstream multi-pen and then the pen component part. It is a 0.5 size and so it's, it's fairly thin. And I'm using my, my guidelines to draw or outline. Here are the blueberries and more flowers. And having the guidelines really help you when you're drawing flowers. Sometimes you, you look at it straight on, sometimes it's on the side and having these circles and oval shapes really kind of help you set um, the petals so that it, it looks a little more realistic. And I'm really not going for um, ultra realistic at all, but I, I do want to, to make sure and get the shapes right anyway. And now that I have the, the shapes outlined, I'm going to erase, um, but I noticed that I actually missed a few places, so I'll be erasing a little more later. 
All right, so starting with my Hansa Yellow, I am just laying down some color for the lemon. And I'm adding a little bit of that Quinn Gold, which is a, a warm yellow, beautiful. And I'm just adding that in, in places just to, um, to darken places and also just to warm it up. Uh, and and you, I was going to scrub some paint off, but it's not quite dry enough to do that yet. So I am coming in with actually this is sap green and making some leaf shapes. And so here I'm erasing, noticed that I hadn't erased all the places. And um, I'm using a mixture of buff titanium and a little bit of white for the petal because the, the blossoms for the lemons are, are really white with a little bit of pink. So I used uh, a buff titanium. And here's Cascade Green that I'm using for my, my big leaves. And I didn't quite want to touch the yellow yet because it's so wet, I didn't want the green um, to bleed into my, my lemon quite yet. And Cascade Green is, is so, pretty and when it dries you're going to see a little bit of blue specks some brown specks um, it's quite nice and here is ultramarine blue for my blueberries and once again i'm just adding flat color at this moment and i'm going to darken uh, ultramarine blue with a little a bit of neutral tint and i am going to be just adding a little dot of that for the crown of the blueberries. And uh, so, I'm sorry, this is uh, burnt sienna for the branches. And here I am adding a little bit of that dark blue for the crown. And I could try to add a little more detail but the paint actually needs to um, dry a little bit more so remember Tomoe River paper takes a little longer to dry um, so I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and I will be adding more details all right the paint has um, dried sufficiently so I'm going to be adding some shadows and details I'm using a little bit of purple um, for the lemon shadows and not very much yellow for me is just it, it's so hard to work with um, because it, it's hard to shadow for me anyway so um, I'm, I'm using a little bit of purple to, to do it and notice that uh, the leaves the cascade green there's little blue specks and, and, and yellow or brown spots. Um, I've added some burnt sienna um, in the background and I'm, I mixed a little bit of burnt sienna with cascade green um, to add the details for the leaves. Uh, cascade green has burnt sienna or PBR7 in the pigment so it's I know that they kind of work well together and that's why I chose those colors to, to sort of mix and I added these um, grassy kind of whatever uh, details to it and then I am scrubbing some paint off for the white space um, for the blueberries and then also um, from the lemons and here I'm adding a little purple shadow to my petals um, to add a little more depth. All right, so here is my completed uh, sketch. And finally, here is my completed um, sketch here. And I've added my journaling and today I really talk um, about the process of videoing, why it's such a challenge um, for, for me anyway. Um, it's difficult to share the entire process 
Um, I'm used to sharing on social media my completed work, which I've had a chance to work and rework, but here um, I'm just going for whatever it turns out, um, which is sometimes a little scary, but you know, that's my challenge this month. All right, so thank you again for watching. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, um, the link is there. And uh, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.